Cause it's your first time Hi, are you living your life? Hey you honey, what you doing for the weekend? Just one taste and you'll be swimming in the deep end Let me give you something you can really sink your teeth in What you doing for the weekend? I'm just going to have a quick sip on my Coca-Cola. Drank from a huge bottle because I'm very thirsty. Hello everybody, it is me, Betty Who, and I am here today with another transformation video extravaganza extraordinaire exclusive for you all. That song wasn't like fitting for any reason, it's just that I'm really into like a very big Betty Who phase at the moment. I go through these phases with Betty Who. So my friend who is Drew Ashley, um, she has her own YouTube channel. I would definitely recommend going to check that out and also like following her on Instagram. But yeah, on the Sasha Galore video, Drew actually wrote um, like try and do a Kimura black makeup. Um, and I've just completely missed that comment, so sorry Drew, um, this has been a couple of months maybe coming, but it's here now, and I hope that you're very excited. Kamara, like, so she was on Drag Race, I'm not sure what season she was on, she was on the same season as Sasha Velour, I believe, which might have been nine. I remember being like extremely beautiful then, and if she was extremely beautiful then, it would burn your eyes out to see her now. <laughs> quite the fucking beautiful specimen of a person. This is the picture that we're going to be working from today. It's picture time, it's picture time. Everybody, it's picture time. Picture time, picture time. Everybody, it's picture time. That was, um, once again, the picture time song. I hope that you enjoyed it. I might release it, to be fair. It's a picture that we're gonna be working from today. And I know what you're thinking. You've really bitten off a lot here, and I agree, I have bitten off a lot here, but we're just gonna see what happens. I think, like, I've got to, you know, have some belief in myself, and today, I believe in me. I believe in the power of me. So I have um, already glued down my brows, um, I found, so somebody messaged me the other day on Instagram, and was like, why don't you use um, Elmer's for your brows? And the reason for that is that I am a sweaty beast, so I do usually have to use um, Prozade. Like, I go on and on about it on here, actually, to be fair, but if I am gonna be performing, I can't get away with Elmer's because so much sweat comes from my forehead. Um, I'm pretty sure I must have, like, hyperhidrosis. Like, I don't think that it's regular for a person to sweat as much as I do. Um, and that is not, like, that's not an over-exaggeration. Um, but I, do use the Elmer's glue stick like for videos, but I couldn't source any for a while. Um, and then I found like some Elmer's glue stick in like with all my rubbish. So I was like, jobs are good. In. And um, I mean, I think it is very well covered because I've given it time to like rest and settle and um, dry is the word that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I think it is like, you know, it's something that you should use. I, I used to be very like, oh, all glue sticks the same, but I do think Elmer's is better, which really kills me to say. Just looking at her picture here, um, so she is blessed with like very, very high cheekbones, um, which I do not have. Um, so I'm gonna have to kind of get a bit creative with that. I mean, I think the way that she uses the light and like the contours on her face anyway, um, I think like we should be able to get a fairly like close to like the um, the image. Does that seem like enough foundation to you? Oh, an exciting update as well. I have cleaned my brushes. Um, I was forced to because I got blue paint all over them from doing the Juno Birch look. I don't know like how to correctly colour match my foundation, you know, it's either like far too pale or like far too warm, I don't really know like, how do people get it right? Oh God, I'm so sorry, I'm so like burpy today. It's probably because I've been fucking chugging Pepsi Max. So her contour seems to start about here and then it goes to here, I would say. And then her jaw is quite like angular. And then the nose, 
wish that the motorbikes would like stop zooming past in these videos. This is the Juvia's Place concealer that I'm using um, for my contouring. As we know, it is very, very heavily pigmented, um, but it's okay because I will be going over with my highlighting colour and like blending it together so it won't be as like shocking as it is at the moment. I don't really know what to do about this chair, so you've probably heard that it is creaking again. Well, it, it's not creaking again, it's just creaking, like I've not done anything to fix it. Um, but I don't really know how to fix it because I did, when I put it together, I like put no more nails on it as well as like the actual screws. So I don't think I'll actually be able to get it apart. I don't really know what to do about it. This woman is so like fully stamped. It is quite the beauty to behold. I really do hope that I can do it justice. Oh, tell me you love me. I need someone on days like this I do. Cool. And then this um, makeup is another makeup where they're putting quite a lot of like white under the eye and also underneath the brow. Um, I might be tempted, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave putting the white on until I've got the brows on. So yeah, so I think like that's the move because I need to like cut in the brow with some of the white, just very, very gently like underneath. So that's what we're gonna do here. So her eyebrow colour is black, but I'm going to start with my contour concealer just to kind of like map out where I'm going because I get a bit scared like using a full like black powder on my eyebrow straight away. So it almost like swings up, swings out and then like does a little flick off of the edge. So that's what we're going to attempt here. She has also got quite a lot of space between like the front part of her brow. So I just need to go steady with that because I have been known to bring them far too close together. Am I gonna feel like super crunchy in this? I think I might. I think I might. And now just going in with some black eyeshadow to sort of set the, the concealer that I've done and also like just to give it a bit more depth because hers do look like they're black on the tails but then the front of them looks a bit lighter like, you know, like a nice deep brown color. I might have been guilty of just bringing them in too close again. They don't look exactly like it, but we're gonna leave them for the time being. Um, and then what I'm gonna do now is, the reason why I started doing that, um, is to cut in with my white concealer. That's not the white concealer. I'm just gonna go in. So she's got like quite a lot of white just in this little bit here. So that's what we're gonna use here just to like sort of cut into the very arch of the brow. I'm just gonna pull it to there actually. Just to kind of try and create an illusion that like it's kind of sweeping out a bit more. Okay well, and then she's got quite a lot underneath the eyes so I'm just gonna do that as well. I think this is like, yeah, it's only under the eyes that she's got it. So that's, cause I would usually like pull it up to there but I wonder if this is because she's got like such high cheekbones though she's maybe not trying to do as much like accentuation on that area. Okay, and then her nose, it feels like she sort of does a little bit like further down than than like, you know, shorter, which is unusual really, because I, I tend to find that a lot of people do like the line like further up so then it shortens their nose. So I'm gonna use like quite a small fluffy brush um, just to do the contour section. Um, I'm, she is like very bronzed with the contour. It's not like a um, like quite so much of a deep contour, which is good because that's what I tend to do as well. I think it might be time to retire these brushes very soon, you know. So these are like brushes that I've had since I started doing my own makeup. Um, I got them when I was in America from, I think it was from like CVS or somewhere. It was after Christmas and they had like a big sale on and I was like, let me get my hands on those brushes. And yeah, it's gonna be really sad when I do eventually have to throw them away. But I think like the amount of 
like obviously use, but then like the way that I clean them and stuff, like it's just starting to make them go a little bit bald. But I am really bad at like just keeping hold of stuff. I don't know if it's like a sentimentality thing or if it's just like, maybe I'm just a bit tight. <laughs> so that's the powders on. Um, I'm just gonna like let that sit there and you know, like soak up any of the moisture. Um, from my skin. Moving on to the eyes. It's always the eyes that get me in it. Um, I'm looking at her eyes right now and I'm thinking her brows are maybe slightly lower as a starting point than mine, but we've committed to this now. So he has got like a nice tan colour here, which maybe I will probably do with my bronzer. And then it goes from that to like a deeper brown to a black. And she also has like the white line underneath with like a smoked out black. Um, so, where's best to start with this, I wonder. I'm gonna start at the top, I think, and then I'm gonna like tackle the bottom part as its own like special thing. I really like using like the bronzer for my eyeshadow, like as a starting point, because I do feel like, I don't know, it just seems to like blend out better somehow. Maybe it's just because the bronzer is really nice. So this flip flop colour is quite like, um, like shockingly deep when you put it on. Um, I might use that like on the outer corner and then into the black, but I think I need a different sort of nude colour for this bit. Oh, that's actually a really perfect one. So I'm going to use this colour, which is called Throwback. This is in the Match Nudes. I mean, to be fair, I could probably like do this with various different colours because her makeup is very like, it's quite varied what she does. I did see one that was like rainbow colours with like a bright red lip and I thought, oh, I really want to do that. And then when I, I mean, as if I would have like been able to successfully do that without having an emotional breakdown. Um, but when I went on to the picture, it was like really grainy because I think the, um, like the photo shoot that it was for was like, I think that was kind of the, the vibe that they were going for. Um, so it wasn't like quite, as clear of a picture as this one is. So she's kind of got like an eye that goes like up and then down um, like with the shape that she's created. So I'm just gonna try and not like get it too high in the outer corner. The thing about her makeup as well is like, it is super blended, um, which is not always my strongest suit, but it's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out along the way. Maybe by the end of this, I'll be like, yeah, I'm a pro blender now. I'm real good at blending. Do we see that for me? I'm gonna probably struggle with this bit. So just bearing with, don't get too excited. Um, so she has got like a under eye, like line that is white and then it sort of like comes to, so it like extends her eye inwards and also like a little bit outwards as well. So I'm gonna try and do that, but I need, I need still silence and quiet please from you all. I wonder what tool she does this with, cause this is quite hard to get like nice and precise. Right, so this looks wild at the moment, but we're, we're trusting that this is gonna, I've got a vision my vision is what she's done. Um, I'm gonna now do the liner. So, I think for her liner, she appears to do like a very straight line there, not very much on the top of the lid and then like quite a nice sort of wing that's just coming from here. This is very like the first time that I ever did drag looking at the moment, which is not quite in fitting with my little fantasy that I have for this makeup at the start. Only 20 minutes ago, I was like, oh, I'm gonna look real cunt in this. And I'm like, help me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I look like I've attempted to do Trixie makeup and failed. Right. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to just cut in a little bit with some concealer, which we know it's not my favorite thing to do, but I think like that's kind of the only real answer to what I've done under here. Maybe this is why she's so like well lit underneath. Maybe she also is struggling. Now it don't look, um, oh, fuck me. How does one rectify this then? I'm just gonna do 
probably the exact same thing that I've just done. I will get this fucking eye looking all right if it's the last thing that I do. I think like all right is probably all that I can give you. I can't give you like stunning, beautiful or anything like that, but I think all right is within my remit. Is it remit or is it remit? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's as far as I am willing to go with that at the moment. Um, my eye shape doesn't look anything even remotely like hers. Um, hers is like really nicely blended. It's all looking real pretty. Mine is looking kind of blocky still. Um, maybe I'll just try and find like a nice little blendy, blendy brush. So I'm going to put on my mascara and then, oh, I said that a bit posh, didn't I? I'm gonna put on my mascara and then I'm gonna put on my lashes um, and then I will, you know, BRB and shit. So that, I mean, I, I understand, look, I understand that underneath my cheeks look mental, sorry, underneath my eyes look mental, but I'm afraid that this is what we've got to work with. I think I've done it as much as I possibly can there. We're just, we're gonna forget about the eyes now. This has been, it's probably taken me about 40 minutes to do this um, and it's not looking great. Look at how much shit there is on my hands. So she's got like a nice peachy coloured um, blusher on. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a little cheeky little bit of peachy blush. Does she have any on her forehead? No. She's not that kind of girl. She's not a, a blusher on the forehead kind of lass. Not like me. Now we're on to the lips. Um, the lips. Ah. just get some of this shit away. It's that, you know, it's not, it's not sparking joy. Fuck, no, fire. So the lips that she has got on are the nude colour once again. So we're gonna be battling with the nude Maybelline that goes all bitty, um, but that's okay. She has got, again, like she's, fucking hell, somebody's doing it well now, uh, I think she is just blessed with like nice large lips. And hers are quite like sort of the same all the way down. Like they don't sort of like go up and then in like I would usually do mine. How do they look? I mean, I'm not a million miles off of the source material, but as with every look that I've done thus far, that has been like a recreation of somebody else's makeup. I am the pound shop version. I think what I need to do on these lips is like a little bit of shading. Right, so that is the makeup on. Um, what I'm gonna do now is go and put on a little wig and some sort of cute little dress thing, perhaps. She's wearing a bra in this picture, um, but you see me in a bra all the time. I think I'm gonna do a cute little dress, a little dressy dress. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and get changed and then I will be RB. Oh God, I look like a shit sporty spice. All right, so I am back and this is the final look. I was all like, oh no, I'm not gonna put on a bra. And then I thought, sometimes the mood just calls for a bra, doesn't it? Um, she has like a long straight ponytail in. My straight ponytail is currently in a plait and I don't think it's ever gonna come out of that plait. Oh, I just spat all over myself. I don't know what, there's something about this like lipstick. I think it's, I don't think that I'm spitting more than usual. I think it's just that, cause it's so like tacky, you can really feel it like when you do. Although that's worrying. Do I spit loads when I talk? I really hope not. Sorry, so the hair piece is currently in a plait and it's really ratty. So I don't think I'm ever gonna take it out. So I thought, you know, we'll do a little bit of a, What's the word? Like a variation on the theme. I'll put in a little curly hair piece. And I must say, I feel quite pretty in it. So, looking at this makeup, um, now, I do really like, like, how bright my under eyes are. I think that would be very useful if I was on, like, stage. Um, I think, like, up close it's quite jarring, but if I was, like, doing a performance, then, you know, like, the more bright you can get underneath your eyes, the better, I think. I'm not, like, here in my eyes now. I think like when I compare them to hers, hers are so like perfectly done. They're very precise, very like buffed out. Mine are not like that. Mine are a lot more blocky, but I don't like dislike the way that they look, but I don't think they look like hers. Like I'm under no illusions here. 
Um, and then the lips, I think I've done like a fairly good job on them. I've like, I've tried my best to recreate the shape that she does. Obviously like her lips are larger than mine. Um, so I think like when she is drawing them on, she's just sort of like slightly outlining what she already has. Um, so I had to do like a bit more, sort of like, I had to get a bit creative with it. But I think they don't look like a million miles off of hers, although mine are definitely like, hers are very like pinky, like nude. And I think mine are a lot like deeper looking, but that's fine. I mean, you know, we've sort of, we've got like kind of there. If you would like to, then please let me know what you think. I, like I say, I am quite happy with how it sort of works out in the end. Um, we always get there in the end, don't we? You've just got to sort of try and like rectify the mess that you make, especially around the eyes. Um, will I do this eye again? Possibly. I do quite like like all the white under the eye, like with the eyeliner under it as well. So like, you know, where I've tried to like extend my lower eye. Um, I think I would need a lot more practice before I went out with makeup like this because it's not like as like clean as I would like it to be. As always, I really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, then please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. It would mean the world to me. And my social media will be on at the very end. It is just Domino Official on everything. So if you'd like to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and threads, that would be very, very nice. And thank you, please. And thank you, please. And until next time, I shall see you all very soon. Bye.